Here's problem three. It's a drag, click and drag. So what they want us to do is on the computer we would click one of these things, drag it here, click the other, drag it here, and click the third, and drag it here. So let's see what it wants. We like these. These are nice and easy. Let P represent Brent works this summer. Q represents Brent takes a vacation. Symbolically represent the following argument. Okay, so in this first spot we want to take if Brent works this summer, then he will not take a vacation. So Brent works this summer. That's represented Brent works this summer is P. So this part right here, Brent works this summer, that's our P statement. So we're going to write that. Then, so that's sort of if P then, this part. He will not take a vacation. Q represents Brent takes a vacation. So we got to negate it because we want him not to take a vacation. So we say not Q because Q is representing Brent taking a vacation and we want to say he will not take one. So this first thing is going to be P implies not Q. And that would have been one of my choices down here, which would have been this choice right here. So that's the one we would have brought up here and dropped it right there. The next statement says Brent takes a vacation. Well, Brent takes a vacation. That's just simply what? Q. So right here is just going to be Q. And we would have picked that right there and brought it up and dropped it right there. Therefore, what represents the word therefore? I use that all the time. That's the little triangle. Therefore, Brent does not work this summer. Which one's talking about Brent working? Brent works this summer. That's this P statement. But it says Brent does not work. So we want to negate this P statement. So we'll say therefore not the P. Therefore not the P statement. Where's that? Therefore not the P's right here. Poof, drag that up there and drop it. And there you would have your answer to problem number three.